One Mafuluku resident laments the unfair treatment meted them by Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company over billing, alleged shortage service, and of course, arrest of one of the residents. The management of IKDC gives their side of the story. While Mafuluku residents continue to express their disdain over non power supply to the area, with the attendant crazy bills still rolling in. The incident of alleged maltreatment of a resident by the police on the order of the management of Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company lingers. He was said to have been detained by the police. The case started when we, uh, these people at uh, the Ikeja Electric came to our area. That is a um, transformer controlling uh, Olowora and the uh, Sholai Mom and deluded the transformer. So they came with armed men, fully armed, about four of them with guns. So when they got to that place, they disconnected the area. So they were now boasting that those people among the community that are championing the, 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 the process of releasing the people from the clutches of Ikeja Electric, they will deal with them today. The resident we learned has since been released on bail. However, we sought to hear from the management of Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company. The head of corporate communications for the outfit, Felix Ofulue, claimed it was the residents who assaulted their staff. Some of our staff normally would embark on cash drive on a monthly basis to ensure that people who are owing us pay, and in cases where they don't pay, we get them disconnected. So in that scenario, um, this team, of Ikeja Electric uh, staff, they went to an area called Makinde in Mafuluku and then attempted to disconnect the debtors. And then uh, this um, resident now, who claims that he, has been, he was uh, harassed and oppressed by Ikeja Electric, led a gang of uh, his, his cohorts, if I may call them that, to, to stop our people from carrying out their duties. And they also harassed them and assaulted them. Um, all attempts to persuade them to allow uh, our staff to get on with their duties, uh, I mean, they resisted all attempts. So what we did was to, it, what the team did was to leave that particular place. And they moved to another area called Eweja. This thing I'm talking about it happened in October. And the next thing is, the same person also moved his crew, and then they also went there, and which is not their area, also went to that place and started causing... Uh, fomenting some sort of trouble, I mean, trying to um, uh, prevent our people from carrying out their duties, from disconnection. So what happened was they had to now call for help. Uh, people had to call for help, and then uh, that was when the police waited in and got the man arrested. The resident had also accused Ikeja Electric of crazy bills in the face of poor power supply. How do you determine that your bill is, is bloated? Now, in certain cases, yes, it's, it's possible. You go to the to the to the they're taking closer to your business, uh, 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 revenue for business office close to you, and you go to your house and do a load assessment to actually determine what appliances you have and what you use. But in certain cases, some of these claims are not are, are very far fetched because the, what you use is not a determinant of how long. It stays is what you use at that particular period. That you have light for two hours every day does not mean that you you don't consume a lot of uh, uh, energy because it depends on what you put on at that particular time that you have um, um, energy. So let's say at the time you have light for two hours, your your heater is on, your your microwave is on. Your, 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 your AC is on, your pumping machine is on, you're ironing your clothes. The amount of, of, of energy you consume at that point in time is, is actually huge. So that is, that's part of the things that I, I think that consumers also need to put into consideration most of the time when they're complaining about their bills. Questions bordering on falling poles, exposed transformers, tangled cable around Shimono and Oluwara also got his response. A lot of our... Uh, Transformers are actually fenced for security purposes or for safety purposes as well. But they find that some of the ones that have been vandalized in the, in a, in a, in the process of vandalization, some of the um, 
walls or whatever that is coming it has been destroyed. But what we are doing, we're taking a, there's an elimination process ongoing, which is taking uh, into cognizance all our assets, which ones require some sort of refurbishment, which ones require some sort of uh, maintenance uh, process. So that's what we're doing at the moment. And we'll get to that, we'll get to their area, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that part out. Meanwhile, earlier this month, protesters from Yanowuru stormed the corporate headquarters of Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company, armed with a long list of complaints, which included poor power supply to their area. For the past two to three months, we've not been having light. When they bring light, they bring it for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, and they take it off. And at the end of the day, they bring exorbitant bills. To this, he also responded. The problem that they experience right now is because of the breaker issue that we have at the Oranshoki transmission station and the Ogudu sub injection station. But the company has ordered breakers, and then I think that um, in the next, uh, maybe by the end of March or shortly after then, the, the issue will be resolved as to a large extent. Granted, there is only much that discos can do in the face of poor power generation and transmission in the country. What, however, continues to irk consumers are the outrageous bills for electricity not consumed. A more likely way to solve this is the supply of prepaid meters, which appears to have suffered a setback under the current forex regime. The present economic realities has hindered the pace at which we planned for initially now. So the pace has dropped drastically. One, because the cost has risen astronomically, and secondly also, uh, access to foreign exchange as well has also dropped, reduced the rate and the pace at which we planned to meter. But I can assure you that uh, metering is ongoing. Some energy experts are of the opinion that the way to go is for the country to explore power generation in small clusters as against humongous gas and hydro stations currently obtainable in the country. The drawing board and not the crystal ball must be consulted once again in order for us to tackle what is apparently becoming shameful for a nation as ours. And this must be done as fast as possible. You can always be part of Channel's TV eyewitness family and effect the desired change you very much wanted in your environment by downloading the Channel's TV app to your mobile device, launch to reveal the menu, tap on the eyewitness icon, and then follow instructions to upload your photos or videos. Please do endeavor to add a form of contact, such as email, phone numbers, so we can follow up on your stories. Right now, let's see some of those you already posted. <laughs> Farouk's picture shows a highway in Kebi State which leads to Sokoto State and it's the first photo on Eyewitness today. You say there's been a lot of accident at this damaged part of the road and would want the government to fix it before more lives are lost. Mohammed sent a photo of a large expanse of land in Desa, Ibejuleki, allegedly being forcefully collected from the residents. They claim the residents are being fenced in and beaten up by employed thugs. You want Lagos state government to intervene in the Sa community saga in Ibejuleki. <music> Imekwisa Chibuikwis photo shows a burning tanker in Nibo Anambra State. You are glad that the quick response of the men of Anambra State Fire Service saved the day. However, you wish to plead with Nigerians to exercise patience in order to avoid such outbreaks. Olatunde cannot understand why fuel should be selling above 200 naira per litre in Eket in Akwaibom state. You claim some even sell for 400 naira, especially at black markets. This has further hardened the lives of residents, and therefore, you're calling on the government to please intervene. Now, those are some of the photos you sent. Please do keep them coming. And this is where we call it a day on Eyewitness Report. Next week, hopefully. We should be here and we should be ready to hear from you. Until then, I'm Chris Lambs. Bye-bye.